today I think I'll be playing some uh, breakfast. This person just topped the, the came in second. I'm gonna try to say their name. Uh, Shirakami Nobumasa. Hope I said that right. Uh, this person got second, like a 70 something person event um, with bre with uh, Southwood Breakfast. I used to play this deck a ton. I had some finishes with it like maybe a year or two ago. Um, not much has changed aside from the fact that now they get to run ending main. And uh, I was on Grand Abolisher, but not three. So having three effects that sort of allow you to win the game that you could cavern in or violin before you go off is really cool. And then sideboard is a lot of tutorables and then just like very cheap, very cheap, tutorable, you know? So <laughs> that's sort of the interaction we're going to go with. And yeah, but let's play Breakfast for the first time in a long time. In the mana base, there's a mana confluence, which is pretty wild. No underground sea, see if that matters. Tons of basics, which is really good. Um, yeah. And then if uh, if we finish this quickly, we'll play some Mono Black Reanimator, which won the event. So. match Kel yeah Kellogg's that Dracas Dracas they are 1-0 oh. let's try to crush their trophy dreams early uh, but I hope you're doing well boxy uh, thanks for stopping by hanging out hopefully it's a good night It's a turn to win, right? So. Oh, boo. They're playing the most boring deck in the format. Mm. Fetch an island and ponder here. Ooh. Do you want to wait that long? I don't think so. It's a long time. I guess I'm not shuffling though, so. I'm definitely not playing this next turn, so I guess we bottom that. Uh, Clash of Critical Control, do you think there's enough card advantage in it? Does he do some stuff? Tutoring package, card advantage? Um, no, nah, I mean, Opposition Agent's card advantage if like you get a fetch. Yep, and there's a Bolt, which is why we didn't go for it on turn two. Said we know we're gonna hit a uh, brazen. We could run this into days if we want, but I mean, grist is card advantage. Um, natural treasure just wins the game on its own. What else, as far as card advantage goes, you can add things in your sideboard depending on your color, like clothes, where you're like you know, incrementally dealing damage. But this is a hard cast days. Super interesting. Cool, 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 cool. Mm. We could sucker them into a, a win potentially. We do have to therapy ourselves, so may not go great. I guess I could just play this on human. I was supposed to name Soldier, not Human. Ugh, sorry. Uh, 
So we have, wait, wait. I got another brazen bar just to buy us time. Next turn, we have a win with a silence. I guess we get like a, a Skyclave. Could get another one mana thing just in case I need it. I mean, they would need triple removal to beat my situation right now. But how else do I lose? I guess I'll just get another one for now. What's up, Mike? Playing some Breakfast, a deck I used to play a ton, but had not really streamed too much with. Uh, hope you're doing well. Alright, I mean, we, we do just win next turn if they don't have interaction. Dang, this game is super easy. We do need to therapy ourselves once to get the Oracle out. Pure Gosu, you're, you're glad I'm existing. Okay. We do have two therapies in the deck, right? Make sure I actually have two therapies. Where's that second one? There it is. Name plus. Wow, look at that. Force, Force, Bolt, Dragon Rage. Target us. Get rid of this. Cool. We take those. All right. Versus Delver, do we sideboard anything? I guess it would just be Fluster. Um, what do we want to cut for Fluster? Maybe do we want Fluster? Like, I don't even know. This seems pretty well built to beat Delver. The reason is this person, I copied the list from this person. Um, uh, Shirakami, this person got second in a large tournament and I trust their judgment as I haven't played. So that's the reason. <laughs> the reason is someone who knows better than me chose this many and I'm gonna try this many. So. The scary thing is this person lost to Reanimator in the finals with three Surgicals, two Fairy Macabre, and two Containment Priest, which is just wild to me. To me, that's like, they would have dreamed to face that with how much hate they had. So. Um, but yeah, do we want Flusters? Or is this, is this board only for like combo 
death and taxes. Like, am I supposed to bring flusters in? We have three Grand Abolishers and two Tefries. Oh yeah, no Yurian. Yeah, if it was Yurian, yeah, that, then I, I, there would be no reason. But yeah, no Yurian. Fuck that card. I'm not trying to shuffle 80 cards on Moto. Um, man, I don't know if I want to fluster. That's the only thing I would change. And I don't think I want fluster. Let's just try, let's run it back. This hand's pretty bad. Um, this hand's pretty bad. Double. Th I think I got them all. Yeah, we'll keep this. Let's get Right, we'll go with the turn one ending. Fuck, I hate this card. I hate this deck so much. Which I know no one here knows, but I'm so sick of this deck. Nice. Killing that on one is pretty big as far as the clock goes. Just need to draw some fetches. We run like eight basics, so sure. Really, I feel so fucking bad. Having this as the second land feels real bad. The mana base. I mean, there's seven fetches and five basics, so we should, for the most part, be able to keep ourselves out of getting wasted. But you know. Sometimes, I guess. Um, yeah, then we just pass here. The blind flip Delver is a little annoying. Blind flipping Delver is always a little annoying. And. What can what can win? Nothing can win off the top, unfortunately. Just a Merktide. Yeah, a Merktide. Right, nothing can win off the top. I mean, something can win off the top, but I can't um, protect it with. So that's eight power. That's pretty good. Uh, they have to force this, right? I guess I gotta save targets. There's therapy, so we just have to hit one narco. One Narco to beat a Surgical. Oracle is the last card in the deck. So. Nope, there's Dread Return, which is super bad for us. They could Surgical this. Which would mean next turn... So I have to name Forcible, Force Negation, or Surgical, and I think I would name Surgical. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, now what would I name? Now I have to name... Lightning Bolt?
it is forcible in a wasteland, huh? Okay. And of course they rip an iteration. Bad beats. So we had we had forcible beat and we had surgical beat if we didn't mill dread return first. So I think it was probably worth going for it. I think it's just sort of, you know, what happens, I guess. Uh, now Grand Abolisher doesn't really matter. Hmm. If Oracle is the last card on my deck. Is there anything cheeky I could do? Increments of seven. So I can make it so it's the last card of my deck. That doesn't particularly help me. Is there anything cheeky I can do? I am dying in the air. So I don't think we just have to take up to three here. I mean, if they have force, I die. Or if they hit a blue card, which they probably did. That doesn't help me at all. I mean, I guess I should have waited one turn to play around the surgical. God, and the fact that this therapy is here and I can't. A narco in play, yeah, narco. We can, we could get a narco and play to chump. It's not, a, it's not the worst. We would survive one turn, right? Though, I but I, but I have vial on three now. Because I have Vile on 3 now, that was a good idea if I left this on 2. That would have been a really good idea. Actually, thinking about the Narco to Chumps is a nice way to think about it. It's something I didn't think about. If they if they have like Force Blue Card Wasteland, then doing that would have been a very smart thing to do. Damn. Honestly, that was like brilliant because I could have like EOT, Vile 2, put this in untapped and then that would have been the 25th card yeah damn i think i just fucked myself because i now i need a blue mana and that could go for like a brazen borrower i guess I mean, I'm going to attack, I guess. God, knowing Thassa's Oracle is on the bottom, like, gave me some opportunities that I think I squandered. They're going to Mystic Sanctuary Surgical? Oh, no, they shovel my deck from Surgical. Okay, hold on. They shovel my deck from Surgical, so it's not on the bottom anymore. They're putting Iteration on top. And there's the force blue card. Okay. I'm gonna let this resolve and said so they don't know to look for I mean we're dead a bolt no matter what, right? So Oh no, you're good, dude. That's that's on me. One hundred percent on me. 
Like, I just wish I had, you know, thought of it before, <laughs> before what you said. So they, their hand is Wasteland, Unknown, and they could daze us. But if we mill Narc, if we mill Thassa's Oracle, we lose, and there it is. So we can't win now. Ah, <sighs> damn. Yeah. And I'm sure they found, yeah, of course, like, it's a Delver, right? So. Yeah, Fluster doesn't... I don't know what I would cut, though. Therapies are really awkward. With only one fetchable thing, and you need to have, a like, one of the four fetches to find it. I'm gonna take Shaman out. Like, I don't think they're gonna pit and needle that, so. The old No Land Narc Amoeba hand. Cool. Alright, it's a hand with, with some cards. Let's try to see if we can battle back from from throwing that last game. We'll have a cantrip or even just some more fetches or basics. They chose to shuffle, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Basic is like, that's not a bad draw. It's not a bad draw to be honest. Fetch here. Let's go, Illusionist. Uh, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna fetch for a duel here and let that get wasted. Yeah, my rust is showing from not having played the deck in a while. Okay. They forced, they forced the vial and let that live. Interesting. I guess they didn't have a choice, right? Iteration or Merc died. Second Murky Merc. I have to hope they don't have days. Cool. All right, Tefri, go, go, Tefri. Hmm. Can't play Murktide yet. I guess they can play Murktide, right? What? If they waste their own land, can they play a Murktide? I was gonna say they have to waste their own land to play a 3-3 Murktide here. Oh my God, if we just... <laughs> We can win if we draw a couple things here, for sure. 
That was... Alright, we went cool. Sick. So nice when you just top deck the four outer. I mean, I guess we get ponders and, and and all that other stuff, but we beat we beat double Delver, double Merktide, Force of a Bolt. Like that's pretty cool. We take them. Yeah, that. I mean, I get their their hand must have been like another land. I guess they just. I guess the whole thing was like if their if their thing was a like say the last card was Force of a Bolt doesn't have tax. Is another Merc Tide or like they needed to get something in play to kill Tef the following turn, I guess. So Vendillion misclick. They play Jeskai Control, which is no there's no way Jeskai Control is a playable deck, right? In this format. I I just can't imagine Jeskai Control is a playable deck. Um I mean it'll probably roll the shit out of us, but I, I just can't fathom like you would do well in a, a tournament with it, unless you're like in Europe. In Europe, um, I mean, it has parts of the combo. It has a like. I wish it had a land like instead of therapy, but just cut the rubbish. All right, we are one zero. -oh. Really just was hoping for a land there. I mean, I feel like this is a keep. It has a repetitive part of the combo. Grand Abolisher to stop interaction. Uh, you know, so. One of the one of the appealing things about the deck is that there, it's a two-card combo. You know, it's... You don't need to do anything too, too much. Other people do show and tell. Grizzlebrand, here you could just have some fucking cores and cephalids, you know. Don't always have plow. Don't do it. Isn't it so annoying when they have plow on turn one instead of ending? Like, so they don't have to time walk themselves. It's so frustrating. Iteration, because that's what you have to do in this format. Oh, it's so bad. I took like a week, like, what, five days off or something like that, and to just hate this fucking card so much. Because you have to play it. It's just, it's just so good. <laughs> you just have to play this fucking card. And I just despise that. Ending on this. Yeah. Right, I've been holding off in this brainstorm. Fucking hate my life. <laughs> like, like trying to wait, be patient with a brainstorm, and just like we can't get a fourth land. Twenty-five percent of the deck. No ponders even to shuffle. 19 lands. So we had 16 lands, 4 ponders to hit that were reasonable. Yeah. That sucks. And the thing is, it's like uncastable, 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 uncastable. Not only do we brainstorm, but we actually just like can't play anything. We, we're just time walked. For, for two turns. So I'm, I'm actually going to have to like go to discard, which is kind of tilting. Mm. 
Like, I'm honestly just thinking about conceding here for the for the stream. I don't want to make you all sit through this. It's kind of embarrassing. The only thing is, is like, based on their build, we can try to assess what they might have post-board, you know? Yeah, I'm just going to F6 a couple turns, and then we can uh, concede and try to do better in post-board. What do we want post board versus control? Do we want anything? How do you all feel about like bringing in the surgical just to hit like plow? Is that dumb? Let me guess another iteration. Not only is it another a iteration, it's snap iteration. This game is going to bore the fuck out of me. So I'm just not going <laughs> to just, just not going to deal with that. Holy shit, that's so boring. Um, let's cut the endings for flusters. Do I like surgical for plow and stuff? I don't know. Like, you know, there's a lot of forbs we could hit. Mm. Like, we don't want... I don't think we want endings. We don't want that. We don't want needle. We don't want honor guard. We don't want tam priest. No, I'm meddling mage. It's like, do I like Lavinia? Lavinia would stop Force Will only. Uh, do I want to cut a land after just missing land drops? They're on a ruination. That's funny. And two surgicals. Mm -hmm. They're on one graph digger's cage. I have two tefts, two brazen, like a skyclave. Like, I don't think we need ending. I think this is more for like creature decks. What are we cutting? You don't want Lavinia. Maybe surgical is dumb. I don't know. Let's try it. They have Snapcaster, which is leading me towards wanting surgical. This hand is fucking awful. It's just so bad. Alright, this hand's. I, I guess this hand is better. Just get rid of a basic plans. Well, if this doesn't go well, we at least we have reanimator queued up. So, mono black reanimator, which is uh, this is what we would play, and this is a hell of a deck that this person came up with. Three profane tutors main deck, two bone shards main deck, which is pretty nuts, and then uh, two grave titans because you could hard cast them off Lake of the Dead. So, so the mono black list looks pretty wild, and I'm I'm pretty happy to try that next. <laughs> Great mana base. Yeah, I'm not going to play Green Abolisher without Flusterstorm backup. Yeah, yeah. I will fluster an ending here. Okay. Oh, crafted bronze. See if they brought in Pyroblast, which would be interesting. Yeah, see if they're like thinking about doing a Pyroblast. Yeah, they are. Which is fine, you know, okay. You got it. No way I'm fighting over that. I would fluster an iteration, I think. Oh, if this is Tef, I'm going to be so tilted. God, they really playing around Fluster? Like, they really played around Fluster, huh? That's really, that's really smart of them. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay. 
cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna draw step surgical the prismatic endings. Because they might have let this resolve thing, they could just get rid of it that way. Timeless dragon. Yeah, they run one, I guess. Well, what year is this? It's pretty funny. They did have Snapcaster. I, I could have got them to snap target that damn. Oh, Surgical, they tell you now. They burned four blasts. What did they cut? They cut one force. They brought an entreat and f what three blasts? They cut a force, and what else did they cut? Interesting. Narset? I don't know what they would else they would cut. Okay. So this is their hand. If they go for I just fluster that. Because my fluster targets are not impressive. Um, yeah, he's got the Mystic Sanctuary back. I think they should ban Mystic Sanctuary. Am I insane? Am I insane that Mystic Sanctuary should be banned? All right, so if we draw Cephal Illusionist and they misplay, we can win, which is pretty cool. I mean, we, we have outs, but it's obviously like they have five cards in hand, right? Like seven cards. All right, they have a nice plow in exile, so we will not be playing Nomad end of turn anymore. I'm going to fake him out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll take up the two. I would have won if they didn't hit that plow, huh? No, I guess I could have flustered that, huh? Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. They exile the plow. Do they have another one? Okay. They could dress down EOT, which would be, it, which is just like probably what they'll do. The thing is, if they dress down EOT, I don't really have much to say about it. I can't do anything, I didn't, which is kind of annoying. I mean, they have dress down. That's the that's the thing. Oh, you meant like wait till my turn, activate vial, try to top deck a land. Yeah, I guess I should try to just get lucky. I guess. Yeah. Because this forces a dress down. Yeah. The thing is, is like it forces a dress down, but. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave this on two. No. Ponder. I would have missed the land, so 
Oh, damn, just dress down. We have, like, that, we got a brazen bar in this? Like, fuck. Uh... No, we can't. How do you dread return your oracle on our end step? Dread Return's not an instant. We could, we could, like, mill our deck. We could mill our deck, I guess? I mean, we could mill our deck. Like, like... <laughs> We uh, we could like I said we could mill our deck. They could just hard cast a terminus. I'm not attacking into Snapcaster. It's gonna pass. This combo is not the best. <laughs> There's a reason it, it's not. You know. I played it back in the day a ton. You know what? Oh, whose article is that? Javier Dominguez? Who, who who played this deck a lot? They did an article on Harahira that I uh, that turned me on to the deck, and I played a bunch with it. But I was like, just don't have Tef. Just don't have Tef exactly, please. It, it's just so tilting when it's like, don't have like this one card. I mean, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it in play because, oh, no, 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 oh, that was so bad. I was thinking because I'll just fluster to protect it, but I can't. Oh, my God. I'm just like, I'm just like losing my mind. I should have just like, because they could just snap blast it. Oh, my God. I hate myself right now with how bad I'm playing versus this deck. All right, well, they had plow anyway, so it didn't matter. Like, obviously, they would have plow, so it just doesn't matter. Because they have this, this, and I can't ever interact. Oh, man, that sucks. It sucks so much. I hate this fucking card. <laughs> just, I hate this card so much. No, I just snap red blast this. Damn. Mm -hmm. So, so I I knew they were gonna play Tef like into a fluster. It just feels so bad. I can't hold up fluster. They have Tef. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like I just I just lose. Like, they have this in play, so I have, I, there's no game actions that matter, which is just so frustrating. <laughs> that's that's the whole thing. Like, the deck, like, that's why the deck's unplayable, because it's like, you need so much to happen, like, to, to be able to, to win. Like, like how does this compete with, like, a Minskin Boo deck, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't understand how that's, like, even a thing. Some people always win with these style of decks. I just can't fathom how. That's all. Um, Alright. I'm gonna just pass, I guess. Guess what I get? I should just do, like, Dark Ritual reanimating people. No, I, I mean, I won a bunch with it. But, like, Javier Dominguez is definitely, like, the most well-known player who's affiliated with this deck. And that's, like, by a margin. <laughs> like, in, in, in that regard, 100%. Alright, so the only card we know in their hand is Terminus. Alright. 
Damn, we actually had a spot to win. That sucks. All we had to do is draw, like, Grand Abolisher and Illusionist instead of Land Land. Feels kind of bad. I'm probably just going to fetch twice. Oh my god, they, they would have let me win instead of just trying to find interaction. That's crazy. Right, they didn't they didn't know my hand, right? Like if I just had that, 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 and they had waited interact wild. Alright, this person is also not super quick, so I'm just my chances are slim and then compile that. I don't want people just to be watching me like die in ten minutes to some like hard cast and treat the angels. Yeah, I mean, that was. It was just very. It didn't hit any of these. And uh, they had to hit. They had to have the Teft that one turn. That one turn, which kind of sucks because I could have been able to go for it with Fluster back up. Um, yeah, it's also probably just a very difficult matchup. Like, you know, four plows, four endings, multiple Snapcasters, Tefts. Like, it's. We've also just been, been getting getting beat up from some of our hands. Great ape. I wonder if they're playing Kurt Ape. What are uh, this person is registered Kurt Ape? I would love to die to Kurt Ape. That would be a respectable death. Um your prismatic ending. Have a redundant one con. It'd certainly be annoying if I want that ending, but I mean, like I'd rather have this, I think. So I can go like illusionist into nomad illusionist. So. Uh -huh. 60 card DNT, you say? Well, we definitely don't want the land that's on top. See if we can get a nice turn three win. What's worst case scenario? Plow plus wasteland? That doesn't matter. Okay, we win. Unless they have salty to go. <laughs> I was like, we win unless they have Solitude. Solitude. Elite Spellbinder? Jesus Christ. Uh, some interesting ways to lose the game. I mean, we, we, we just don't win this turn. We can win the turn after, though. So, it's kind of whatever. And we have a ton for DNT. Takotli Honor Guard. Pithing Needle. Wow, a lot of lands, huh?
I don't think there's really a reason to therapy them. I just want to make sure I have four creatures. At least three creatures at sorcery speed to be able to dread return. No oracle yet. Right. That match seemed way easier than control. <laughs> uh, what do we cut versus Grand Abolisher? Do we cut Grand Abolisher? They only have, I mean, they have Plow, but they don't have counter spells. It's probably going to cut Grand Abolisher, I guess. Pith and Needle is probably fine for Vile. Honor Guard and Contain Priest are the ones that are going to do the heavy lifting. Shaman and Core is probably not needed. Hmm. Cut a therapy. And. Teferi is pretty expensive. Try that. Yeah, we're keeping this. Turn one vial, turn two ponder, removal for their stuff. This is a pretty good hand. Pretty good hand. They just revealed Chancellor of the Annex in their Death in Taxes deck. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? What? What the? That's a tech. Okay, we can. That's fine. That's. We literally have an answer. We have two answers, so. Now we just get to play a vial out. And now they have a Chancellor of the Annex in their hand. And we have an Ether Vial. I think we're in a better position. And the card with no text, really. I mean, it's annoying, I guess. Okay. Starting to feel pretty, pretty good about this game. Okay. We draw a nomad, we win. Boom, 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 boom. And now we get to get a ponder in. That's also pretty good. So I can ponder for the win, right? Oh, can I recruit for the win? I just have to. No, because I can't also Skyclave. Yes, I have to naturally find it, I guess. So close. Because mm. now if they play Spirit, I can ending that and then try to brainstorm to find it, so... We also have this. Two, come on. Come on. Having two rest in pieces. Alright, now we just have the win, right? Yes. 
screen so we got a narc amoeba and ponder i guess yes yes do 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 nomad white blue done core white Doesn't even want me to see their hand. Cool. All right. That was pretty easy. Needed that after that control beating. But yeah, after this, we're going to play some reanimator. For collective brutality, which is just like such a wild, a wild thing to do. This card, this card, this card, was, this card was pretty nuts when it came out. Um, I got some cool Grave Titan arts, so we'll try that. What a wild tutor package, huh? Well, only one Grizzle, one Archon. Like, this is all you're trying to reanimate. Nothing too fancy at all. What do we have for interaction? Four thought seizes. Like, this is, like, we have 14 ways for discard, which is just kind of, kind of sick. No exhumes, though. No exhumes. Bellboy squints. I think they play mono red. I think they played mono red when I faced them last time. Uh, if they have a turn one chalice, we can answer it. If they have a turn one blood moon, we have vials. So I guess I'll keep it. I mean, we don't have force walls, so, like, what are we mulling for? You know what I mean? Therapy and narco in hand is kind of shitty, but you know, that's what happens with this deck sometimes. I'm on the five, all right. Um, and then in the sideboard, you have, like, your four ley lines, three Douthy Voidwalkers, and two Helms. Like, you could just, like, switch off the reanimate plan to try to comp, like, get them another way, which is cool. Uh, two set, this is an interesting split. Two Edict, two Massacre, two Bombs. So, we'll see. I have no idea how to sideboard for reanimator. I don't know it's cuttable. So, I'll have to learn that as we go. This is pretty frustrating. All right, it is the deck we thought it was. So that's nice. So we'll fetch Island and play Ether Vial. Okay. Even on a mold of five, keeping a hand with no turn one play is pretty, pretty sick. Chromox. Oh, they're on t Epic Gamble? Just gonna relay? It's just a relay, right? I hate this fucking deck so much. There's no deck I hate more. Alright. So, I'm 
No, we're fucked. We're actually going to lose to this. Are we really going to lose to this? <laughs> Did we really? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Uh... We just brainstorm with three debit cards. They top deck the red card. So we can Caracas the Bergy. Oh, just getting Metalcraft. Okay. But then there's like a pop out box that says, like, you know. Oh my god, we can actually Caracas it and then Cabal Therapy it, like, in a turn. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's nice. Now we could hit Opal. Go. And now we can uh, Cabal Therapy the Bergy, which is nice. And then we're... What's on top? Isn't it another land? It's a cavern, isn't it? So, we're, we're, I mean, we're not doing great. If we're, we're being honest with each other. And a Mox Opal. Am I supposed to take the Mox Opal? It's their only red mana, right? right I'm going to go for it. I think it's better than a one turn clock. Or a 13 turn clock, whatever. We're like one card away from being able to sort of just go off. Now I'll say yes to both and just leave them at three and two. I really drew two fucking Narc Amoebas instead of any combo pieces. I run two Narc Amoebas and we drew both. This is like when I'm playing Elves and I draw both. Um, and I draw both uh, Dried Arbors. Jeez Louise, this is an ugly fucking game. This <laughs> is such an ugly fucking game. I don't think either of us is having a good time right now, is what my opponent said. What the fuck is happening? This is just absurd. What 
What the fucking fuck? This is this is just the ugliest fucking game you ever seen in your life. And I'm like so paranoid I'm gonna die with like lethal on board. We really drew nine land. No fucking way. Another bird, whatever they drew the helm thing, the horn. Okay. Did they just grape shot? Grape shot would be acceptable. Okay, cool. So they actually missed. I don't think it mattered at all. Right? It... Yeah, because I could just do that. Cool. Wow, what a terrible game. <laughs> that, that was just awful for, for everyone involved. Uh... <laughs> what are we doing here? I don't even know what we're doing. Needle is for just horn. Meddling Mage... It's like, okay. Like, these cards are okay. Like, Surgical is just to hit, like, LED to make it harder for them to go off. Grand Abolisher doesn't have text. Teferi doesn't have text. Um, Brazen Bar doesn't really have text. Therapy, I guess. That was just, like, so... That was a garbage bull if there ever was one, man. That was so bad. Uh, cut. Uh, planes. And... Vile, I guess. I don't know. I don't know the fuck I'm doing versus this deck. Some good draws, huh? I forgot I had a fluster I could actually hold, so... Fetching there didn't really make sense. I didn't know what I was wanting to do and sort of led me to that.
Bergy. I think they exiled the Simeon Spirit Guide and then just played Grim Monolith, huh? Definitely just going to leave up Fluster here. What do they keep? This is a pretty wild... Horn, like horn here is brutal. Yep. With four cards, that sucks. That sucks. Huh. That checks out, right? Red mana and a Bergy. Okay. And they had an Echo, obviously. And there's Opal and Overmaster. Literally the best possible cards. Red mana and then make everything uncounterable. <laughs> no, like what the fuck, man? Literally hit Opal for red into Overmaster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Could have went right of flame into Overmaster, but whatever. All right, and they have 14 cards. Not going to waste my time. That's just too fucking funny. Um, okay. Try again. It's a mulligan. This is probably also a mulligan. Ah, eh, that's probably a keep. Let me just not, like, we don't have any cards that we want. Mm. I talked myself out of it. So we'll get rid of Ending and Swamp. Yeah, damn, that last game, they discarded Echo to the horn. Like, that's the only time you have a chance for Surgical to Matter. Don't play a nerdy ass defense grid. If they go relay, then Melee Mage just got a lot better. No imprinting, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is just super interesting gameplay. Like and they're not cracking the other one. Which is just... I mean, it's right, but it's so fucking annoying, man. A fluster here would have been nice. We actually could have flustered this. Okay. So they can't draw any more LEDs, I guess. Not great at all. Okay. Mm 
We just we just died uh, to wish. There you go. Cool. Super interesting games. Super interesting games. And that's why I want to play Reanimator next. <laughs> I just want to turn one people like, I don't care if you want to play Magic. So let's see if we can get a pity chest out of this league. This person got second in like a 70 person tournament. Good on them, man. Good on them. We'll rely on... Uh... Hmm... We're going to keep... I can't even Cabal Therapy on one, though. Because there's no Underground C. I wonder if the person... Like... Just couldn't afford an Underground C, but would play one. Like, I could see the Mana Confluence ha like being relevant, you know. Which is, like, the one reason I didn't cut it. Being able to have like a basically an untapped triumph is, is legitimate. What's going on, Jerry Freeman? Did, you, did that's your first chat? That's wild. I can't believe it. But uh I did I did see him. I think Max tweeted like uh, a screenshot of winning on like turn zero. I, I hate Echo Vions, so I hate all those decks. I can't stand Echo Vions. I'd ban that shit so quickly. I mean, it's cool. It's nice. Like people are like innovating, but like I just don't like the core concept. So it's like innovation on a card I despise. It not you know, doesn't, just doesn't do it for me. Either vial. Keep a, like, a Wasteland Aether Vell hand with Death and Taxes. It's not Death and Taxes. Okay. I'm gonna need Vampire Hex Mage here, I think. I'm gonna need Crop Rotation, maybe. What wouldn't they have played? Would they have played a Hex Mage? No. I'm gonna need Crop Rotation. Oh my god, got it! Got the Crop Rotation! Oh, yes! Oh, man. That feels nice. That's fucking tragic. All right, let's fetch. I mean, yeah, with how they played, like, what else could it be? You know what I mean? That's an insane draw. That's an absolutely insane. That's like, aside from, like, the win, that's the best thing, right? Like, Tef with Grand Abolisher. Oh, they can't activate their lands now, right? Oh, no, they can do lands. They can do lands. Let's see if they concede to the Brazen Borrower. Which would be pretty awesome. These problems. Alright. 
They have Caracas and two unknowns. Okay. That was a nice time walk. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Uh, on Pith and Needle, probably. I think that's it, maybe. Uh, Skyclave actually is not going to hit too much. Mm. Probably don't need too many Grand Abolishers. All right. That was a pretty cool card, but. Yeah, no, Ar look, Archeon hates certain cards. He hates Counterbalance. He hates, like, Alistair or Shepard. Like, like, a lot, a lot, if not all, ma I don't want to say everyone, but, like, a lot, if not all, Magic players just have cards they hate. Like, and that's, right, that's just how it is. A lot of t like, you know, there's a lot of times where people agree, like, where it's a vast majority, and then other times it's, like, cards that maybe a small subset of people, like, I, I can't stand Echo, I don't like Days and Doing, um... Yeah, I, I, I just think the draw sevens are, are dumb. They don't lead to interesting games. Um, the thing is, like, they don't lead to interesting games, and, like, they're very hard to interact with, right? Because you can't surgical an Echo. But if someone was, like, Dark Rate and Tomb Exhum, like, you could you could surgical. Like, like you, you, you have a chance to respond. So I think that's just, like, another layer that makes it, like, too much for me to, like, want to deal with. And not that, but, like, a random, say, a reanimation deck is, like, put something into play that you can answer instead of just drawing seven and they play all zero drops. Arkan hates Shepard because it's like, you know, you always need to have removal plus, like, counter magic for natural litter. Uh, counter balance, I think, is a dumb fucking card. Like, I, I was, I don't think top should have been banned. Like, you know, I'm probably in a, like, there I'm probably in the small majority. The minority. <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't think top should have been banned. I think that was sort of a cop out. Like, top's, like, fine, I think. It's not, like, the most busted thing ever. Like, all those decks, like, like there was decks like Painter and stuff that used top, you know. But the, I guess now you have Saga, which makes it kind of obnoxious. But it would be, it would be in a lot of decks. But, like, it, if top would be in, like, blue decks and non-blue decks, whereas, like, Brainstorm and Ponder are only in blue decks. So it would just be, like, other decks get to fight, you know, get sort of the, the tools you get. So, whatever. This person is really tanking on how to not die to Shaman and Core. Oh man, I just want the match to be over so we could play uh we could play some reanimator. Wow, Thassa's Oracle and Dread Return in hand. We are just betting a thousand today. God bless Shirakami Nabumasa, who <laughs> Clearly ran better than we did. I know I definitely made like one or two mistakes, but still. You got them all, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Okay, I don't know. They have ley line. Okay. I hope they kept it on just that and we can brazen it. Don't have thoughts these or anything that's good. Okay. So they mold the six, right? Oh, come on, please. Pretty, 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 please. Go Pith and Needle Nomad Encore. Please go Pith and Needle Nomad Encore. That'd be amazing. It'd be like the opposite of a soul read. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Pretty please. Took two minutes of sideboard. Just keep, like, tear apart my hand or pass. Like, let's just get it going. Cool. That's a really good draw. Can they go for a win here? Float black, crop rotation for dark depths, float black. They can, right? They can go for a win. If they can go for a win, then I should know the brainstorm, I guess. Yeah, they have spirit guide, crop rotation. Okay, cool. My weed man on speed dial. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, yeah, good. Yeah, that's why I keep you around. You know, people ask why I keep you around, Mike, and, and, you know, you keep proving your worth, so I appreciate that. Thank you for, you know... <laughs> thank you for showing people why. What's in their hand? They're, like, F6-ing. Yeah, I was thinking, like, float black, but then the dark depths wouldn't make mana, so... They would need double spirit cut, I guess. Was it another ley line? That would be obnoxious. Uh, that's like one reason I didn't want to play this out. I was worried about like sudden edict on this and it would be harder to... I'm going to say, okay, maybe the name Prismatic Vista. Yeah. Hey, we get to play some reanimator where the takes should be uh, pretty simple for everyone. So let's, let's just let's get to that point. And I was right, they had the needle. I was just, uh, yeah, like I said, I was worried about playing this because of um, Sudden Edict. Like, it, like we have technically four more of these, and we'd only have three more of these, so. And them naming that isn't the end of the world since. They named to Fairy Time Reveler. Okay, now I'm, I'm officially fucking lost. I'm just, uh, I, 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 oh, to bounce this. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 buddy. Easy peasy.